Hey guys and welcome back to the CTFC Perspective and in today's video we are doing our second episode of our new series Transfer Talk. So in the first episode it only consisted of Cheltenham News and Cheltenham Confirmed Transfers. Whereas from this episode on in the series we are going to be expanding onto the EFL. So in this video I'm going to be giving you 10 stories. This is a mixture of transfer rumours and confirmed deals both from League 1 and League 2. Two. Seven of those are just going to be briefly explained at the start of the video and three of them near the end I'm going to go into more in-depth detail so you understand more about the player and the actual transfer itself. The whole idea of this series is to just give you the transfer news that you guys deserve short and snappy and I don't want to waste any more of your time. So just one more thing before we get into the video. If you wouldn't mind liking the video and smashing that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on it would mean the world to us and without further ado let's get into it so the first story of the video is actually a transfer rumor and it is of Kevin Dawson. Now he is in talks with Newport County, obviously ending in bad blood with Cheltenham, saying that he has left the club for a higher chance of winning trophies. Well, that didn't happen. And uh, let's just say he's not at Forest Green anymore, obviously looking for a new club. Newport could be a good move for him. But like I said, he didn't really leave on the best terms with Cheltenham. So... Uh, but obviously, with him now not being at a club, he is looking for a new one, and it looks like Newport County could be the place for him. Moving on to our second story now, Blackpool have signed a 21 year old midfielder, Ethan Robson. Fleetwood Town did momentarily join the race for the highly wanted man, but they did lose out in the end to Blackpool, who did very recently get the deal confirmed. The third story of the day is a move I wouldn't have actually expected, but it is Ipswich Town are targeting Richard Keown. I haven't really got anything else on the move, but he is a target, so within the coming days or weeks, he could be an Ipswich player. So the fourth story actually emerged around a week ago because that is when AFC Wimbledon put their bid down for Ollie Palmer. And it seems like today, only a few hours ago, the deal got agreed for an undisclosed fee. Obviously, the Crawley striker had an absolutely amazing season this season, so I wish him the best for his move. Now on to another rumour now. So Championships relegated side Charlton are close to signing Hearts striker Connor Washington. No actual fee or deal has been put on the table yet, but they have been scouting him for a while and he could be done within the coming days. And the penultimate quickfire transfer is Jake Caprice and he has joined Exeter. The defender was a free agent, had Plymouth Argyle, Blackpool and Crew Alexandra also interested. And your final quick fire transfer is actually a transfer rumour and it is a player on trial at Plymouth. That player of course is Lewis Page and he has appeared to impress in this trial and an offer could be put on the table in the coming days or weeks. Now moving on to our more in-depth transfer news and the first of which is the signing of Alex Woodyard for AFC Wimbledon. The midfielder hasn't exactly had an electrifying season but he has had quite a few minutes getting 25 appearances within that time he did manage to get one goal rather playing a more deep lying box to box midfielder and he did get four yellow cards in that time as well the 27 year old has actually made 12 transfers in his career a mixture of loans and permanent buys and he has surpassed over 300 appearances within his career so he's a very experienced midfielder for his age not being too old so I believe they could do pretty well well of him and let's hope he has a career defining season with Wimbledon. Next up we have Carlisle signing of Daniel Devine. The central midfielder is still a young prospect only 22 years old. He managed to get 13 appearances getting two goals and two yellow cards this season so not too bad with much room to improve but obviously being at such a young age he could improve and considering he plays at the base of midfield as well. Quite a sad way to leave really as he has been at Bradford his entire career, obviously going on two loan spells, but he has gone through the all of the ranks at Bradford, starting there, going through the under 16s, under 19s, now finally making it 
for the main team and going to Carlisle. He made his League 2 debut in 1617. Since then, he has made over 50 appearances in the league, getting only three goals and two assists. So like I said, there is much room to improve on, but I still think Carlisle have got a good signing here as he is young and he looks quite expressive in the centre of the park. And the final signing of this video is Swindon Town signing of Jack Payne. Swindon signed the attacking midfielder this evening from Lincoln City. This season, he has amassed 23 appearances, getting himself three goals and one assist, as well as one yellow card to boot. The 25-year-old has played more of a centre-forward role, attacking mid and box-to-box -box midfielder in his career, as he has made multiple moves, this including permanent spells and loan spells. The actual fee that they signed him for was in undisclosed, so sorry, I do apologise, I cannot tell you that, but I can, can say that he played every single possible minute of all the cup competitions that Lincoln City played. Payne is about to make his 250th appearance within the Football Leagues and Cup competitions. Within that time, getting himself 40 goals and 37 assists. So a decent ratio for a guy that has played all of centre forward, centre attacking mid and box to box midfielder as box to box midfielders don't really get the same amount of goal contributions. But all in all, very good. And I wish him and Swindon Town the very best for the upcoming season. And that's about it, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this new style of video. Me, Tyler, and the channel in general is improving every single day, just like our fan base. We're growing seemingly every single day, and we cannot thank you guys enough. Like I said at the start of the video, if, I, if you haven't already, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel and liking the video, it would mean the world to us. Our links, including our Twitters, our Instagram, if you want to actually message us personally rather than leaving a comment, you can do that. Just go click on the links down in the description. Two videos like this will be on the screen very shortly, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.